reduction and psychotherapy fit together? Well, historically, you know, harm reduction was a grassroots movement, I guess in the 1980s really, in Amsterdam and Liverpool, kind of or the Netherlands and Liverpool starting there. And, um, you know, then, so it's spreading through Europe with HIV AIDS, and then Edith Springer and Alan Marlatt, I guess the two people usually associated with bringing it to America. And I think many psychotherapists who were um, in the mental health tradition of cognitive behavioral psychodynamic approaches to addiction saw an opportunity there because they saw this was an approach to addiction that fit the humanistic spirit of our psychotherapy and also gave us a way to work with people who are actively using and dance between let's talk about the use, let's try to keep people safe and let's, um, but there's pain here or there's suffering here and to see addictions as complicated. So I think they work very well together um, or at least in that kind of you know, mixture they can, they can work quite well together. Uh, you know, not everybody who's a harm reductionist is a psychotherapist, so, but I think this was an interesting meeting of, um, you know, of therapists seeing something in harm reduction, saying there's something here for me to use that can help, me, help with my patients. And this attitude of like, you know, I don't have to force them to get better, I'm not responsible for the, you know, the, all that pressure that's on people in traditional recovery, traditional treatment, we can put that, that pressure down and go, okay, let's just start, let's just be here. So that was, I think, a great sigh of relief for psychotherapists also.